Hey guys, it's the Kid Gaming. Welcome back to We Happy Field. Now, in the last episode, we had just started Ollie's work. So, so we're now with Ollie now. Apparently, Ollie's a bit of a crazy bastard. Don't forget all your things on the ground floor. You don't want to leave them behind. Better get everything I can scavenge out of there. Careful. Those people might still be here. Will you shut up? Dang, they're really trying to take out my building. dead. I have no healing stuff, which is kind of annoying. Can I just die in this fire? game I really wish it would give me full health I really wish it would if anything to help me nope nothing Nope, I'm dead. Just kill me. Yep, please. There. So Sergeant Oliver Starkey, three-time army boxing champion, has been recommended for a combat decoration. Ollie always did like the mix it up. There's a former colleague who declined a name named for fear that Starkey might not actually have gone on a holiday. Starkey's penchant for Algorithm had twice previously resulted in him being stripped of his sergeant rank. However, for those same talents, has always helped him restore his rank afterward. His decoration ceremony will take place when he returns from holiday. Okay, so I died. I really need to get back upstairs and just book it. Instead of fighting, just book it to the end and get through this part. Then. Gentlemen! Can we talk? Fucking hell! Are you sitting there, Fuse, right? Well, what if Private Wuss's name lied to us? Calm down, he's not stupid. We've got him locked up. If we don't come back, he'll starve to death. That's part of the whole army, lads. I could signal somebody for the window. Then why don't you fuck off back to Canary House if you're worried about it? Hey. Ah! Ow! Awesome, we survived this attack. Get up 
Cat crab. Let me go over here. Ah. I think they're setting up another bomb. Where the hell are they getting explosives? Oh wait, they're missing something. Nope, they found it. No, I think they found it. They're running away from it. Woman! You're going to break your legs. If you're very lucky. Well, I've always wanted to try it. Parachuting, I mean. I've already broken my legs once. Don't recommend it. <laughs> it's time for me to jump. Hop! This doesn't work. I won't feel stupid for long. Chunks away! Mark, can't wait for me! Woohoo! Fucking hell! Oh, for Christ's sake! Ah, for fuck's sake! Your cars. All those fucking wankers like rubble. Boiler suit is I'm now available back there. in your journal. Bon matter. voyage. He'll tell me I didn't know about the tags. He's got to. But we can't get into the military camp. I wonder if that soldier can help. The one the wastrels kidnapped. <sighs> Being Ollie, people don't like you, and not just because you occasionally assault them. You just don't fit in, and we know how wellies treat people who don't fit in. You're muscular and a trained soldier, but if you want to avoid having to murder people, stay out of sight when you're trespassing. You're mechanically brilliant, but can't use a chem lab to save your life. I feel surprisingly poorly for a man who's just jumped off a building. Your blood sugar's probably low. You better use one of those syringes. Ollie's blood sugar drops over time, making Ollie feel awful. When blood sugar is too high, Ollie's health will slowly deplete using circular syringe or lower it. Oh, wait. When blood sugar is too high, uh, is too low, I will have less, less health, move more slowly, be weaker, and insult people on sight. Use glucose syringe to eat food or raise it for... There. Don't you feel better? Maybe you could find a beehive nearby and steal some honey. I prefer to think of it as harvesting. Thank you very much. Sweet spot, sweet spot, sweet spot. Oh, crap. So we are actually on our way to the tr uh, b b b b b missions. Decamp, that's what I want. So, Ollie has unwell, must use syringes to heal his health. Uh, slow, he can't run fast. Strong, but he can collect a lot of stuff, which is nice. Troublemaker. People don't like Ollie for excellent reasons. Okay. Uh, let's do survival. Let's work on survival right now, because that's what I'm mainly good for. Let's go to the campment, which is that way. Go to the canary house. So they just nuked our home. Yeah, our home's gone. It's gone. Okay, so they don't like me for specific reasons, which is not good. <clears throat> Ow! People won't like me just for reasons. Excuse me. There. We're gonna have to murder people once in a blue moon, but. Off. I'm just a very nice man, guys. You don't have to come and attack me. Uh, we're just gonna move. Look at. Okay. 
we're just gonna move, keep moving our way. Oh, oh, that's not good. So he has glucose. He has a glucose problem, which isn't too bad for Ollie, but I don't know why people like dislike him so much. Wait a second. On. Why does this house look familiar? Because you've been passing it every week for a decade. Why do I have a vague memory I stashed one or two presents for my future self in there? Somebody it's vague me. because you were drunk. No one likes a nag, Margaret. I see you. Fresh socks. That is answer to everything. A bloody fresh socks. I see you. Ooh, ooh. So, how'd they get you? Did they sneak into the camp? Oh, I, uh, got lost. Uh. I think he deserted. Oh, taking French leave or were you full out deserted? It's always march, 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 drill, 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 and stabby, stabby, stabby with our bayonets. For years. The cherries are never going to come back, are they? No. Nope. I need to go and talk to the general, but they won't let me cross the bridge. Well, they won't let you through the front gate either. Well, I suppose I do owe you. Listen, just tell Sergeant Oldcastle you know what happened on Trim Street. What happened on Trim Street? What happened on Trim Street? Well, I'm not telling you that. I guess you're not heading back then. I guess not. See you when I see you then. Not if I see you first. All right, so then. Get to Memorial Victory Camp. This camp is like a back and forth for Sally, for Sally because that's where her little asshole of an ex lives. I was very happy to stab in the face with a glass, with a broken, with a piece of broken glass. It felt so good to just whack him over the head. There's He's no got blood on, on it! Huh. I don't know anything. Of our time! Oh, oh, run. Oh, no, 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 no. <coughs> keep moving. I thought we could have a chat about Trim Street. You shut your bloody mouth, you fat bastard. Let him pass, lads. He's not getting past the front gate anyway. Just this once. <laughs> Try it again, and I'll kill you. Okay. Talk to Sergeant. Well, don't get shirty with me. Twelve officers. The glory of the distillery. Meeting. In God's name, why? So the soldiers don't get drunk all the time? If I didn't have more important things to do, I'd put a stop to that right quick. Written orders. So I have to go talk to the general, which I despise him. Oh, no, we're just going to craft up some healing bomb for ourselves. We heal ourselves up just a little bit. So we have glucose. Mm. Fucking Starkey's back. I need to speak to the general. Get him, lads. What I ever do to them? You know what you did. It was a joke. 
All right, it wasn't a joke. What about the air raid shelter? It goes right under the fence. You're right. You're always right. I should have gone through the air raid shelter. All right, so we got you. Who's on guard duty? Let's have a Avoid him at all costs. Attention all personnel. There is an intruder in the camp. All personnel, report to your counter infiltration station. This is not a drill. <laughs> There's that, there's that tower again, the new broadcasting tower. Empty. Alright, so he's going to need some sweets and stuff once in a blue moon to stay alive. So I'm going to have to work around that. So, like, Arthur had no problems wrong with him. Let's see, anything good in the bunker for me? So the tanks were... Papier mache, which is fake paper. I have a very bad feeling the general knows about this. Uh -oh. Who the hell blocked up the entrance to the air raid shelter? What if there was an air raid? There hasn't been an aeroplane over Wellington Wells since 1950, has there? I'm gonna have to blow a hole in it. Well, where are you going to get explosives? Easy. From the military camp. But we can't get into the military camp. But what about the distillery? Yep. They're going to blow it up. Right. You're always right. I wonder if they've blown it up yet. Go to the distillery. So this is actually the way that Sally escapes. She goes down to the general's boat and leaves the general just to die in his emergency safe bunker. Safe house. His emergency safe house. Well, his safe house. I say quote unquote. Are there rope on both sides? Why? Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. No oh, sugar. Boop. Metal bits. No. No. You never liked me, did you? Mm -mm. Oh, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Well, if you can't remember things, maybe you shouldn't be drinking. You're right. You're always right. Well, they obviously haven't blown it up yet. I suppose now we just wait until someone comes by with a pack full of plastic. Help! Help! They're trying to kill me! You have to help him! What's he ever done for me? Well, he might be the man with the explosives. Oh, true. You're right. You're always right. Let's see what his problem is. I wonder how much liquor's left around here. Ollie, focus. Will you... Will you stop, Margaret? I got liquor to make. My God. So all I does have a glucose problem. Thank God you're here. I think they draw to the plastic. Wait. Ollie's dark, eh? Look, I don't have to help you if you'd rather work it out with the plagueies. It's Baden Pal. We were in the Punjab together. Did you oh. know him? Haven't the foggiest. Are you gonna help me out? Are you gonna help me out here, Stalky? Whoops. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to kill him. Ow. Get your health back. Ow, you ass. Oh. There. Sorry, you had to see that. Oh, yeah, still plastima. It's still plastima. I, mean, I didn't mean to kill you. Well, 
This will blow a nice hole in the air raid shelter. Oh, now I remember Beedham Powell. Real kiss ass he was. Nil nice I bone um, Ollie. Is that what you do while I'm scrounging all day? Studying Latin? What's the bloody use of that? Quest the gun holster. Blow up the door. Yep, that's where Sally goes for the boat. Yeah. There's got to be some medical supplies around here for somewhere. There. Take the apple. Go start moving. Clean water, as I always say. Nope, you didn't see anything. You didn't see jack shit. Ah, so that's how the bunker gets unblowed up. That's how that hole gets through for Sally. I'm learning. I hope this is enough dynamite. You better cover your ears. God, Judy, again. No! Ow! Now, what's more fun than that? Lots of things. Now, we'll just go down there and pop up inside the fence. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, Sally. Three. Three. You're awfully good at this. Thank you, my dear. Lavatories. Quits. Hello. Aren't you supposed to be at work? I quit. A soldier's allowed to quit. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I don't think he'll want me back at any rate. Not after the things I told him. The general? This is all his fault. The registry, the train, the way we bent over backwards. We... How can I be talking to you? You're dead. I quit because you're dead. My memory's all confused. I, I just slushes around in my head. What? Does that make it easier to bear? She... Oh, shit. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. She's dead. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ. I'll give it a whirl. I'll give it a whirl. Oh! So, that's not how you do it. I think you should stick to what you know. Will you shut up? So, if I want to sleep, I can... Let's see, how much is it? I'll sleep till tomorrow. Morning. So, I can... Really? Yeah. Sleep tight, darling. So that brings my health up. But also four. Yeah. Boop. Alright, awesome. Let's see. So, of course. I think. Oh, so there are no other hatches powered by Ollie, of course. Oh, you dumbass. So, she's dead. Ah. Bond memories. Careful. I don't think they like you very much here. Day for it, sir. Day, sir. Rojo, sir. you to come here. Here. I can smuggle you out of trouble. Just get in my car. I have to take the lads at the bridge their supper. I'm afraid I'm on my way in, not out. 
but I might take you up on your offer later. Ah. I suppose the lads will just have to wait a wee longer for their supper then. Ah. Attention all personnel. Tonight's movies will be Hellcats of Ramsgate. This Ooh. stirring war movie shows one of Britain's finest victories. Don't miss it. Where the hell's Cheeseman? Probably having a wank in the bushes. Ollie! Sorry. He's probably in the latrine. Or that. He's not going to let you in. You'll need his key. I can be quite charming when it suits me. <laughs> I bet he's still angry with you. It's been six years. Is he still deaf in one ear? Ooh. Of course, we need to keep sneaky sneaky because no one likes us here. So we're learning now that she's dead. Now's the time to endure, as they say. Jerry's in the house, smoking. <laughs> Oh, that really takes it out of your shoulders. Okay. Get in a general, enter General Bing's. Oh, God. Mr. Asshole. Attention all personnel. The Merry Band players are looking for a replacement for the role of Kate in The Taming of the Shrew. If you are theatrically inclined, please talk to Sergeant Oldcastle when he's not on the bridge. Shut up. I hate you, Bing. You're an asshole! The tanks were fake! The German tanks in the camp, paper mashing! Don't take that tone with me, Sergeant. I'll call the lads. They must have sent the real ones home after they took the town. Yes, yes, I don't need a bloody ghost of Christmas past. Before the train, tell him. In 1946, before they took the children. I know when they took the children. Oh, away. God. We could have risen up. We could have saved them. I could have saved my daughter. Really? <laughs> would the good townsfolk of Wellington Wells have followed me into the machine guns? Or would they all have hidden in their basements? But after the war, you can't keep a secret like that, sir. Ollie, the safest secret in the world is a secret no one wants to hear. Why? Didn't you tell me? Oh, Ollie, don't you recall? You used to have such a good memory. You typed all my correspondence. Oh. When they requisitioned the newspaper and the glue, they needed quite a lot. You knew? There's holes in my memory. Ah. Like a church made of cheese and all the congregation is mice. They have to know the truth, sir. We have to tell them. The truth has too terrible a cost. Isn't that the decision we all made? No! Anyway, I'm out here in the Victory Memorial Camp. You don't think I'm the one who decides these things, do you? Who's minding the bloody store, then? The Executive Committee in City Hall. Why don't you drop by for a chat? I'm sure they'd happily listen to the ravings of a mad Scotsman from the Garden District. They'd listen to you, sir. <laughs> 
They'd tear me apart like starved jackals, and then they'd pop a joy. I think you should visit Sally Boyle. I don't want to forget. Really? Because we had this exact conversation a year ago. Huh? Oh. oh, Margaret. I'm sorry. Oh, Margaret. Margaret! Well, an apology makes it all better, doesn't it? Alas, Miss Bing. You will not. She'll help me. I'm calling the lads. You better get out of here. How? The cook, obviously. Right, right, right. Let's go. Run! Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get in. Donald, ready to go? I might have overstayed my welcome a bit. Yeah, I, I think it's okay. time we go. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Ooh. Do you remember my meat pounder? That I lent you two years ago. And you lost it smashing some televisions. That's quite an obsession of yours, isn't it? I can't stand Uncle Jack's oh. stupid face, damn collaborator. Traitor! Now, you bought half a bottle of whiskey in recompense, but whiskey's, let's say, two bob. Five! Quiet! You want them to hear you? Two plus half of two makes only three. Wait a minute. Seems to me you owe me at least three and a half bottles of whiskey to even up accounts. Open up! I'm off to feed the lads on the bridge. You're not hiding all these starky in that cart, are ya? I didn't think it fit. <laughs> not unless I cut him apart the joints and boiled him a bit. <laughs> wow. Just move along, if you don't mind. So we're going, who's missing? Wait. Highway robbery. I make it a total of eight and a half bottles of whiskey. You or me. Fine, I'll get them for you next week. I'm so glad we had this wee chat. Crap, all off. Cart's broken down. They don't engineer like they do up in Scotland. I'm going to have to go back for parts. Do not steal the bridge boys' dinner, or I shall be cross with you. I'd never do that to you. I'd do it to the bridge boys, but not to you. Don't make me regret helping you, Ollie. Not again. And come back next week with my eight and a half bottles. Don't even think about taking anything, Ollie. You've got few enough friends as it is. Oh, I knew about the tanks. Everybody's got to know. They've got to know. If the general will help, I'll go to Waterloo House and talk to Miss Bing. People listen to her. Who? Enter Miss Bing's estate. Wait! Oh shit, we're gonna go talk to her! Okay, we're just gonna stay off the path. Off the beaten path, as I always say. Oh dear. So we're going to talk to the lady herself. That's not good. There is no place like home. So Arthur knew the tanks were fake. Let's see, is there anything good over here that I can connect? What are blue? Oh, blue, blue Molotovs are like a mix of something and batteries. But I'm just kind of staying off the beaten path here. Then everyone and, and their brother are going to try and kill me. Oh, what the hell? Shit. Let's see these notes. In Rebels, in Rebels, in what Oliver got awful. In which Oliver got horrible news. Oh, best, oh, that's, oh, God. Oh, Oliver Stark. Oh, hold on. 
In which Oliver learns a great tale. It had to be something Oliver had entertaining. Yes, there was always... Bah, 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 so this is like stuff. Let's go. So we're on our way to deal with Miss Bing. I don't like her. Miss Bing could take one and shove it up her ass. There's that fucking broadcasting tower. Really? Oh shit, we're going into town. Oh god damn it. I don't like the idea. I don't like the idea of going to town. Oop. No place to maiden home. Talk your way past the bobby. Uh, got it. Oh god. Ollie Starkey! <laughs> oh yeah, your house fell down. <laughs> hey! Let me guess. A bottle of the usual. Much as I enjoy our quotidian transactions, I'm afraid I'm in need less of a distillation and more of a ratiocination. Oh, fuck up with the word of the day. Can we just open the gate for once? I could, but I won't. Why? There is a mystery that confounds the best minds of the constabulary. A pomacious puzzle, if you will. Last night, there was unexpected morbidity at the apple tree. A malevolence at the Marlis Pomila, so to speak. Someone died last night at the apple tree. Find out how and why. And this bridge opens up to you like a rose in summer. Alright, got it. So go to the apple tree. God. Huh? Yes, of course, they have to give us a promiscuous... I suppose all of England must be forest by now. Puzzle, if you will. So this is after German. This is a joy-stricken... Uh, world. Afternoon, guys. And I did eat. I don't mind. These guys don't mind me, which is weird. Mind the side effects. So we're on the way to the apple tree. Hello. Ah, phone ringing. The Duke's a very loose and very practice. Well, just gotta go on my merry way. Promiscuous puzzle, if you will. So we're on the way to the apple tree. So the boys in blue decided, you know, it'd be a good idea. Let's fucking break his home. They blew up my own fucking home. Hmm. So someone died at the apple tree last night, and I have a very, bad, I have a very good idea on who and why. I am in Paris. Scene of the crime. Yep, they're dead. Let's file a report. You won't get past the Bobby without details. Of course. Who killed them, and how and why? Fine! I was just trying to protect your delicate sensibilities. I am dead, Ollie. The gate's now locked, but someone brought a chain and his own lock. Someone locked them in. Such a sad end to a beautiful life. Since when do you care about bobbies? Forget the bobbies. The tree! She's not going to produce fruit in a state she's in. Ollie! Do not hear about a murdered tree. Not the blights killed her. Something else. So. Don't mind me, love. I'm just here to read the meter. It happened at night, but they're not wearing their gas masks. Why would they cast them off? Smells like <sighs> mustard. Oh dear God, tell me no one's got mustard gas bombs. That's a nasty way to die. Not that there are many cheery ones. There's how. We just need the why and the it... who. Oh, maybe you'd like to wake the dead and ask them your questions. The dead say to leave no stone unturned. Really? Of course not. If I could talk to the dead, I'd just ask them who murdered them. No stone um, or stone cold Bobby. This is our dead tree now. Fuck off. Tad bit territorial, aren't we? Die. Maybe we shouldn't be moving them. 
Oh, God, you're a king. If you're pissing off your enemies, you're probably doing something right. Nothing more we can do for him. It's him! He's the killer! I wish we could have... <laughs> Go forth and sin no more. There. Yeah, on the gas mast. This one's buggered. I think someone shoved an ice pick through the filter. Who's gonna clean that up? What about that shovel? Fertilizer, not the murder weapon. Hello. I'm afraid you've come to the end of your time. Hmm? What the hell does that mean? Aside from the obvious. There's the one! Yes! Hey! Really? I blocked that! Dumb bitch! Fuck. There. Examine the gas masks. I bring my health up. Okay, uh, all oh, items. Let's see. How do I examine? Them? I have forced this out pretty well. Found you. Do I get a prize? What an apple! Back off. That's all kinds of cheap. I'm afraid you've come to the end of your time. Oh. That's not what that is. Examine the gas masks. Okay, so I have to hop over to the gas masks, hit the all button. Who would sabotage this gas mask? Junk. After Uncle Jack. I have thought I was dead. Oh, God, you're a king. If you're pissing off your enemies, you're probably doing something right. No downers. Passing through. You're dead. And you're dead. But why?
force that open. A lot of mushrooms on this tree. Promiscuous puzzle. I drop you guys over here. But what? That ain't it. Hmm. What am I missing here? I need a helpful hint. Maybe there's a clue somewhere in here, I suppose. Leave no stone unturned. Where do you think they killed them? They didn't seem to be all bloody or anything. Who killed them? They're so they're so out of to choice from who hated them. Hmm. Alright, health. You are healthier. Awesome. Okay. Um I wonder if I throw something in there. Three. Mm. What am I missing? Ooh. Now I see the blood. Hello. Hello, Margaret. It's not bloody. Weird. Hello. Oh, sorry, I might need another apple. Get my thing up. Let's see. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh, I can search the whole area. Oh, hello. This wouldn't protect you against a fillet's fart. <laughs> ah, so I gotta look for one more gas mask. Which should be over here. Somewhere. Okay, it again. okay, now we gotta go back to one afternoon, guys. Because so now we know why. He's dead for, they're dead because someone didn't like him. Or as the note says, we've come to the end of our time. A lot of people keep saying that we've come to the end of our time, which I don't know why. Are they hearing that from someone, which worries me? And why does Olive not like Uncle Jack? I mean, I don't even like him. He's kind of an asshole. Pleasure. So we need to keep our glucose levels pretty good. 
can we, do we have to, I wonder. Can we craft glucose syringes? Yep, okay, I need charcoal and a lily bub. Ah, oh, crap. Any charcoal, guys? Just gonna sneak on through here. So we know what happened. Hi. Who are you hiding from, you bloody lurker? No one. Hello. Have you got some answers for me? It appears yep. your lads were lured and locked into the apple tree's private park. Someone tossed in mustard gas. They choked to death. But all the constables are equipped with... The masks were tampered with. But who? And why? It appears they'd come to the end of their time. Foggy Jack. Don't you tell anyone. There'd be a panic. Well, okay. on your trolley. Don't forget a pop of joy before you hit the revolver. Oh crap, I don't have a joy! You're oh. snappy today, sir. I'd like to meet you, Taylor. Why do we always go for the strawberry? Careful, Ollie. You know what? Now, try to behave whilst you're in the village. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay, jerky does my glucose really well. Oh, bloody Halloween. Sorry. Oh, if I'm on joy, I get thrown up on. He did it. I know he did. What did I do? <laughs> I don't see what's all the fuss about. There they are! Stop them! <laughs> 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 Can we please stop? Can <laughs> get away with this? <laughs> Bombies. I'm not protecting oh. the haves from the have nots since 1829. Better stop past them or it's going to be a bit of a ruckus. Down up! Thank you. It is mine, say it the Lord. Why? I see you. Can we please stop? Yeah, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. I just gotta not throw up on people. Do I have to take a joy? Amazing what you can survive if you set your mind to it. Really? Son of a bitch. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I? I don't know. I don't really want to take a joy. That's what worries me. Feed me in the box. Is there a way I can avoid the joy machines? I just want them to stop screaming. Nom. 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 Perfect. We need to go. I want to go see Miss Bing. It's so tired. It's very tired. 
I don't really want to have to deal with these dumbasses again. The shot died in the bombings. Can I make sunshine? I don't want to go see Sally. And guys, do I really have to pop a joy? I really don't want to. Have you got some answers for me? It appears yes. your lads were lured and locked into the apple tree's private park. Someone tossed in mustard gas. They choked to death. But all the constables are equipped with. The masks were tampered with. But yep. who? And why? It appears they'd come to the end of their time. Foggy Jack. Don't you tell anyone. There'd be a panic. Well, on your trolley. Don't forget to pop a joy before you hit the revolver. Foggy Jack. You're looking stabbing today, sir. I'd like to meet you, Taylor. That's almost better than whiskey. That's what I wanted. Now, try to behave whilst you're in the village, okay? Hello. Would you like to donate to our Uncle Jack charity drive? On your trolley, you happy we fuck bumper. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> gonna hide that hide it out back here so I can get Mr. B Mrs. Bing's house because Miss Bing I think is General Bing's wife or daughter <laughs> he taking joy makes Ollie sick so we got to avoid that problem so I'm gonna I'm gonna let the joy withdraw end and then we'll walk around town I really don't want to so I've got to avoid the problem of taking joy because if I take joy, it makes Ollie sick, which is not a good thing. So I've got to figure out a way to do this without. I need sunshine. That's what I need to do. I need to get. I need to get some sunshine from Sally. I need to craft sunshine. Can I craft sunshine? I don't think I can. Uh, yes, healthier. Healthier. Whoop. Blah, 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 blah. Does it give me the option to craft sunshine? I don't think it does. Nope. Okay. Padded suit. Oh, I can make a Jimmy bar. I can make some lock picks. Metal tubing. Yes. Oh no, I want some Jimmy bars for that. Let's see. I'm afraid you've come to the end of our time. Foggy Jack. That's interesting. Who the hell is Foggy Jack? I know Uncle Jack. I don't know Foggy Jack. That scares me. A lot of people keep screaming we've come to the end of our time. So, Okay, we're now... We're good. Okay. Can I sneak back into town? Okay, I can't. Oh, awesome. I'm just going to turn on into here. Oh, okay. I have to go back through the starting part of town. If I could get sunshine, I'd be good, but I really don't want to do that. I want to hit Miss Bing's house first before I end the episode. Because we're on day three for Ollie's story. Let's see. Is there... Okay, there is shelter here. Yeah, there's a shelter near this place, so I need to hit the shelter and I need to also get the uh, underground system put in place. Okay. Where do you think you're going, dressed like that? Stop! Right. Making! Oh, 
Why are we being attacked? I see you. I see you. You're coming with me. Done fooling around. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Protecting the haves from the have nots since 1829. I better skulk past them or it's going to be a bit of a ruckus. Be sneaky. I'm good and clean first. So Joy makes Ollie sick, which is not a good thing. Okay. Good. What does a blue Molotov do? There has to be a specific way you can break it. Okay, there's a little... Nope. Why are they attacking me exactly? I don't like when they do that. I don't like it. I don't like it. Are they turkey camp? I need to get in there without doing it. Always. The Bobby Pass first. Mm. Oh, Ollie, hi. I didn't ask you here, did no. I? No. If you no. take enough joy, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death, and they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Rainbows? Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. No. They shape your face into a smile, and when you smile, you can't help being happy. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh, Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh, <laughs> but you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know. Mm, no, because your husband is there. No, because your husband. It's better not to know. You, of all people, 
should understand that. What is happening? I'm truly sorry about this, Miss Bing. Help! There's a downer in my car! <laughs> Whoa! Early! Jesus Christ! Is this some sort of silly prank? When I left the village, I thought you people knew what you were doing. Jesus! Out, well, I've been keeping to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind terribly bringing me my joy? No! Oh, no. I can't. Please, Ollie. No! You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. They teach you to be cruel. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them, and then they'll take more joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bing? I'll come back. I'll come back when you're in your right mind. No! You can't, please. I I'll take you to the executive committee. I'll walk you there. Anything. Just please. Give me my joy! Oh! I need my joy. Oh, God. Why won't you give me my joy? Oh. Sure, I'll oh. go get it for you right away. Now, where would a woman stash her joy? I'm afraid joy is after my time. Find the joy pills in the home. Probably upstairs. I could just beat her. Eh. She said in her bedroom. Just gonna try and find her joy. Ooh. <laughs> no, I think I'm good. I'm good. Or what? What are you gonna do? Huh? Let's see. Scotch for the bobs. Ah. Uh. I'm trying to find your joy, my dear. Hello? Okay, bathroom. She said on her vanity. Ah. Here we go. go. She certainly hates to be off her joy, doesn't she? You're not going to give it to her. Oh, no. We're going to torture her with it. Hi. You want them? This is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why oh. the fuck are you doing this? Jesus! Evil downer bastard! I am going to kill you! I am Ooh. going to kill you! Oh, Sorry. You I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. I've got to answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. Nah. I'll answer She's it. got her own pneumatic. I better answer it. Who the hell is Clive Birthwhistle? You should find out if she likes him or not. You can't trust her, of course. Maybe there's a letter or something somewhere. They're going to need an answer right away. You don't know how critical my answers are. Answer the letter and send a response. I took upstairs. Hold on. Hold on, Miss Bing. Yeah. Ooh, I don't think she likes him very much. Get back to work. Give cl no God. Dear yeah. Mr. Birthwhistle, thank you so much for your suggestion. May I suggest you spend a little more time pondering your work, and less time pondering where you do it. That sounds like her, all right. Aha! <laughs> so this is where Clive got his thing. Cool. This is all some clever joke, isn't it? <laughs> it's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank. And really? you can untie me now. Please. Nah. 
Well, that's my regular off-site executive committee meeting. Won't they be surprised to find Ooh. you've tied me up? What unconvincing lie are you going to try to fob them off with? You better answer it. What do I see? Tell them you're the general and the meeting's been postponed. Ooh! Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Ah. Get away! Shh! Shut up! Give me a minute, woman! Good God! Hello? It's Beatrice Dalrymple. From the executive committee? I'm so sorry. Something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. I is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit chat. We're trying to save the world. All right. <laughs> tomorrow then. Okay. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Jesus Take Christ! And lock her up, my fair lady. You're broken, dear. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie. So they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Oh, no. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye. I remember. All except my daughter. Your daughter? Aye. Margaret. Because she was dead. <gasps> Eat the apple, You've woman! You've got to eat. Oh, I'm going to throw it right back up. Yeah, because you What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Coffee yogurt. I'll bring some. Give me my joy! No! <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? I'll get you that coffee yogurt. <laughs> Why won't you give me Jesus. my joy? Why won't you give me my joy? <laughs> oh, God. All right. Coffee yogurt. What is yogurt exactly? It's fermented milk. Like cheese, only it doesn't curdle. So I just need some old milk and some coffee. And probably some sugar to make the medicine go down. So get coffee yogurt and give it to Miss Bing. Craft coffee yogurt. Okay. Can I craft? Do I have the items I need for to craft? Coffee yogurt. I don't have any of that. I need yogurt to find everything. Probably right here in the home. So... Christmas. Oh. I'll take these. I could just beat the living daylights out of her, but nah. Oh. Charcoal. Sugar. A bit of sugar makes it milk. milk. So she's ah. got coffee. Coffee yogurt. And some healing balm for myself. More healing balm for myself. Well, that's coffee yogurt a la Starkey. <laughs> I hope she's not particular. Come on. Everything is quite alright. You're falling apart, Sleepy my dear. Tight. Nighty night. Everything's tight. Without your joy, you're calling it. You're calling it falling apart, my, my dear. My fair lady. I think you better give her that yogurt. Yeah. Blech. This is awful. You've ruined it. Shut oh, up! Father, why have you forsaken me? Oh dear. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Oh, that will be the gardeners. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely color combinations. I think you better answer that. I didn't realize she was quite this popular. Get away! Will you just shut up for one minute, woman? 
So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. She's very busy being out. Out. I'll leave it with you then. Would you, uh, open up, please? I haven't got time to shave. Well, wrap something around your face. And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. Not all maids are thin, pretty, and French. <laughs> You've got other bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! You better make sure she's out of sight. So, should I stick her in a closet? I'm afraid so. Come on! So from there we need to put on the maid uniform. Take that off. Boop. Do everything. Hold on, I need to find something to put on the face. Oh, makeup. Aha, go to her vanity office. Go put on some makeup. Hold on, I gotta find something to put on my face. Bottle of scotch. Letter from Miss Bing's wife. And that's going to the crafting section. Clover, I need to put something on for my face. So that I can put on for my face. Son of a bitch. Let's actually go downstairs and see if I can go put something on my face. Good that I can put on my face. What do I put on my face? There's other way I can put on my face. Hide Victoria and wear a maid outfit. Come on, Miss Bing. Really sorry, my dear. Yep, just put it. Oh, no, you're a dumbass. Stay here. So what we're going to do is we're going to close that and we'll lock it. Here's the counting of all the gardening supplies. She could pay me next week. Cheerio. I'll see that she gets it. There are acts of heroism you never get a medal for, and they're some of the bravest. <laughs> I need air! Open the door! I'm suffocating! <laughs> I think you'd better let her out. Yeah, I'm pretty no, sure... No, you may you... not just leave her in there for a bit. But... see a word? No. Coming!
Let's drag oh, you out, my dear. That's a good look for you. Will you shut up? Suits you. Oh, you might fuck. want to shave a bit. Fuck off. You gonna talk now? You gonna talk like civilized people? Huh? Huh? Christ almighty, can't these people think for themselves? You must let me answer my messages. They yeah. won't know what to do on their own. There's, there's the blower. Again. I promise I won't put in any secret cries for help. I just need to answer. You really ought to get out more, Ollie. Just let me point them in the right direction. Oh, where's Prudence? Oh, that's gonna make me sick. So, she's around, she's been gone. Let me actually open up the note to read where Prudence is. Dear, uh, dear Miss, to Miss Victoria Bing from Clyde Birth with an Arthur office. As Arthur office is now vacant, I do hope you will, you will see your way to letting me have it. We all ha show, we all saw how he behaved Deidre's birthday. He's probably gone on holiday by now. Uh, Happy New Year, ba 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 whereabouts Prudence stuff. So, dear Miss Bing, we are attempting to ascend the whereabouts of one of your employees, Prudence Holmes. We fear she may have become a downer. Have you seen her at her, your office or domicile or received an incident of her whereabouts? We'd like to know where you last spoke of her regarding this constable sticker. Okay. She's around. She's around. Bloody draws us. <clears throat> I've never even heard of Prudence Holmes. Why don't you ask someone else? You really ought to think things through. I did think it through. Off Oops. you go. You done? I was your friend. The only one who was nice to you. Yeah, but now... Why would you do this to me? This thing? Is everything all right? Uh, I'm sorry. Damn. I shall have to enter the premises. Who's that? Why don't you go find out? Because, of course, we got to first go hide you. Oh. Oh, you're back there. Cool. Oh. Come in, Constable. Everything's perfectly all right. We'll just see about that. Oh, cry me Christmas. Yeah. Gonna go lock him in the closet. And of course, lock it. Have you at least got a cigarette? They'll kill you, you know. Who ever told you that? Last time I managed to dig some out of the rubble, a house collapsed on me. <laughs> I nearly died. Give me some joy! I need my joy! You'll feel better soon. Ish. I think. Miss Bing? Oh, Miss Bing? Fucking hell. It's Constable Naismith. You're God. busier than a one-legged man at an arse-kicking contest, aren't you? God. You won't fool the bobbies. They'll expect their sandwiches. You think he's getting upset? Ollie, you better talk to him. Okay. I'm gonna keep doing what I want. Oh, sorry, Constable. Miss Bing is not here. Well, if you don't mind, Mom, I'll make my own determination as to her localization. Shit. Do come right in. Miss Bing? You around? You better get Miss Bing back to the closet. Oh, shit. There. I'm just gonna carry you. And of course, go put you in the Constable closet. <laughs> All oh, hail the constable closet. Let me just unlock you here for a minute. Open. Of course, you guys will just cuddle in here. Have fun! The children could stop screaming. You have to what talk you? to them. Then they settle down for a bit. Are you mad? <laughs> Aye. 
We could have saved them, you know. But the tanks were made of papier mache. Little Artie Hastings tore a hole in one of them. What could that possibly matter now? I suppose it doesn't. I mean, except that's just the first lie. Then comes the victory that wasn't, and then the happy pills, and the Simon Says, because the kids are all gone. You can paint loaves of bread on the shop windows all you like, but if people don't wake up, we're all going to starve to death. To death. Please, give me my joy. Oh, nah. I need you here with me, ma'am. Not off in Neverland with Wendy and Peter. <sighs> all right. The tanks were paper mache. Yeah, the children well, didn't have to get on the train. Yeah, Poor no. Margaret Worthing didn't Shit. have to die. Nah, she didn't. We go to City Hall, back entrance. There's a private elevator. The code is 0126. The date of the victory. I'll write you a letter of transit. Oh. It won't be enough. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. Joy. And if we That's do what that. We have to do, Ollie. And when we do that, then and when fight we do the that, street, I, they'll murder, murder each, each other, other in the streets. The streets. Then why would you help me? There hasn't been a baby born in Wellington Wells in 17 years. Oh! We don't talk about that. I'd forgotten well. that. Well! You! Dumbass! She's gonna... Deck you. Let's go see the executive committee. Yep! I knew that was gonna happen! People have to know! In an hour, you horrible little man. I won't even know you exist. And... Jesus! You bitch! Oh, you... You have to find the letters of transit! I can't stay here. Victoria's probably run to the police already. Then hurry! Find them! Better, better. Right, I've had it with you. You're only making it harder on yourself. Ah! Our own wee bonnet burn. Oh! Escape, let's go! Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> well, I've got a letter of transit now. I'll see the executive committee in the parade. I'll tell them the food's running out. I'll make them listen. Show the Bobbies the letter of transit. Am I still in my maid uniform? Alright guys, we're actually going to leave this episode of We Happy Few here. We're doing really well. I think we're actually halfway through the game because we're going to the Parade District now. But thank you guys so much for watching. I was going to be tweeting shorts and everything down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Kerr burn!